Alright lads, how's it all doing? My name's Asteria and today I'm playing Kerbal Space Program. This game is absolutely deadly lads. If you haven't heard of this game, um, I'll leave a link down in the description to where you can go download it. Please do support the developers on this because they're still making this game. I think it's only in early alpha or beta stage and it's absolutely fantastic already. So um, yeah, do support the developers of this game if you want. Um, so I suppose I should tell you a bit about it. It's uh, basically uh, a space simulator game but it's completely stupid with these little fellas here that you see on the screen they are astronauts and basically you build them rocket ships and see how far into the atmosphere you can get in that rocket ship but it can all just go completely haywire so I think I'll just get started on this start new character name Uh, you can only do sandbox at the moment, but there should be a career mode coming into it soon. Right, so here we have, this is where you can make space planes. Uh, this is where you make your rocket ships. This is where you can kind of monitor, you know, the rockets that you have in orbit. And this is the launch pad. So, first things first is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to make myself a rocket ship. Uh, this can be quite a bit of a time-consuming process. You can see the lads here that have a grey crack down there. I don't know why they don't do anything. And those lads there, <laughs> they just wave. <laughs> right, so I need to pick a basically a, a cockpit. So I'll go for that one because it's nice and pointy. And I'll put it up there because I want a lot of room for my spaceship. Right, so um, basically everything over here on the left is your components. You have propulsion, control, structural, aerodynamic, utility and science. I really don't know what the majority of this stuff does. I just know that you need fuel and an engine in order to in order to make it work. So I'll get started, I'll put a fuel tank on it. Yeah, this is just a basic fuel tank, it doesn't really hold too much but it's good for getting off the ground. Um actually before I do that I want to put this in. This is SAS which stands for something. That one's too big. That one there. Um, <clears throat> this kind of like autopilot kind of just helps you keep on course. So I'm going to put an engine on this because it's going to be the last stage of the rocket. So I need a nice little engine for it. Obviously, I don't want too much power because I'll just burn fuel. So that one there is nice. So that's kind of my main rocket. I'm going to actually I'm gonna put some wings on it just so it can fly. And um, by in the bottom left, you see the way I'm clicking on this and changing into different uh, pie slices. Uh, that's just symmetry. So if I put a wing on this side, you know, I want it to be like that. It'll just uh, it'll mirror that on the other side. You can do that for lots of things that you'll see. This is not gonna work. I can tell you it's not gonna work. So uh down in the down at the bottom here you can see I kinda have a grid and on the left hand side I have throttle. Goes up and down, that's obviously how much power you're putting into the engine. Uh that's G force. You worry about that when you're actually off the ground. But I think I'm gonna need a good bit of throttle. And basically what I do is when fuel runs out for these rockets I move on to the next set of rockets and to the next set of rockets and I'm going to try and get to the moon today and I've never gotten to the moon before so wish me luck uh, but my Je Jesus Christ I think I'll leave that for a few minutes right right I'm going to count down 3 2 1 lift off oh my god we have lift off uh, you can see here I'm in the cockpit. I kind of want to keep an eye on this here because um, obviously I want to keep it as straight as I can. Oh, oh, it's starting to tip. As you can see, um, the SAS is kind of keeping it as balanced as I can, but I can probably do a better job. So, oh no, come on! Shit! I'm, I'm literally hammering the buttons to keep this under control. 
not going well. It's not going well. Right, my my um my boosters are nearly. Oh shit! Separate. It didn't separate. Oh no. What's going on? Oh crap! I need to get this back on course. Hang on, do I have it? Do I have it? I have it. Oh, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Hang on. No, 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 come on. Come on, you beauty. Come on, you beauty. Separate. Fuck it. <laughs> oh, crap, crap. Look at your man there, there Jebediah in the bottom right corner. He's got a great crack on the top. Jesus. I'm never going to get to the moon like this. I can turn it. Shit, shit. It's turned into a missile. Hang on. Oh, no, no, no. That's the ocean. That's the ocean. Man, I need more throttle here to keep this going. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. This game is so much fun. No, 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 that's not good, that's not good. Oh, no, 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 I just lost the engine. Okay, abort. To the final stage. I can't get this under control. Hang on. Yeah, come on. Come on. I'm getting it back in the sky. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hang on, a bit more, a bit more. What happened? Oh no, my engine ran out. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm just kind of floating above. Oh crap. I don't think I'm going to get to the moon. I can't even see the moon. Oh, there it is. It's over there. Oh, I'm going to have to... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to try this again. That one. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that didn't exactly go too well. Anyway, <laughs> lads, thank you all very much for watching. Uh, link to this game down in the description. Please do go buy it. It's great fun. I'm going to go watch a few tutorials on how to keep balanced. And I'll see you next time. Best of luck.